Having seen how easy it is to create a chart in a few simple clicks, our next step really is to look at changing the default chart type. We have two reports here with charts in, data report with a new chart and sales report with a new chart, both of which, although they don't look the same, have been built the same. They've been built as column charts, where we have one column or vertical bar, depending on your reference, for each data grouping. So 2009 has a bar, 2010, 2011, and in our data report, it's a single bar for each state. So obviously some bars are bigger than others. Perhaps the vertical bar chart, column chart, is not what you would like. Well, we can change that chart type. We simply need to visit the chart expert. So if we click onto our chart object just to select it, and then right click, but away from anything else. So don't right click near the legend or the map or the actual labels, just right click up here. And you'll find one of the options is to access the chart expert. In the chart expert, we can change the chart type. Now there are different groups of chart types. There's a bar, which is currently what we have, side by side bar, stacked bar, and a percent bar, which effectively are different types of bar chart that you can use. We can change these from vertical bars to horizontal bars very easily, or we can add a depth effect, so sort of 3D feel, a little bit of drop shadow is what it puts on really. So if I wanted my bars to go the other way, I could go with a side-by-side -side bar chart, horizontally, use depth effect, okay, and that's then applied to my chart. You can see the depth effect gives that little bit of 3D-ness to the chart. So let's right click here, chart expert. So those are the bar chart types. We then have line chart types and there's six of those. Straightforward line chart, a stacked line chart. Now each of the chart types, as you single click on them, give you a small explanation at the bottom. This is a percentage line chart, often plotted over time to display the percentage contribution trend for each series. So rather than plotting the actual values, it trots them as a percentage of the values within that series. Line chart with markers. So this puts markers at each of the graph points, the XY points. Stacked line chart markers with markers, percentage line chart with markers. So these three are effectively those three with little markers, little lumps at each of the graphing points. We have an area. Again, there's two types, stacked area and percentage area that will use a mass to fill in. You've got to really pick the right chart type for your data. Now our data, because there's so many options to be graphed with all the states, a bar or column chart is actually the best choice so that you can compare values graphically on the screen. You can just look there and go, yep, that yellow one there is the longest bar. So it's the state with the most employees. We have pie charts, which we discuss in more detail on their own. A donut, which is a bit like a pie, but with a hole in the middle. 3D riser. So as well as having the ability to have depth added to your normal bar charts, if we went for the 3D bar chart, you'll find that we've got too much data for hours. Let's click return to chart expert and choose this 3D option in our other chart, which has got less bars. 3D surface. And then we hit a set of graphs that are really specific to data that you've got XY scatter graph. This has individual data points are plotted within two axes, a radar, a bubble, stock, numeric axes, gauge, Gantt, funnel, and a histogram. So each of these specialist types at the bottom you will only want to use those if you know about those types of charts and they are of use to your data type. Really with numeric data, which is what we tend to be graphing here, we would stick with bar, line, area pie, donut, and then 3D riser and 3D surface. So our chart that we've changed has turned round to be horizontal bars and looks a lot better as that. And we've added this use depth option to give a little bit of drop shadow. Okay, now with our sales report, Let's click there, right click chart expert. This could go with a 3D riser, 3D bar chart. Now when we click OK, we're prompted that our chart isn't quite of the right type because it needs two unchanged fields and one show value or one unchanged field and many show values. But we're going to say continue anyway. OK, and you see that it graphs in a sort of 3D format. These are our years, these are our values. And our values that we've currently got, 2009, 2010, 2011, are down the middle here. If we wanted to have values across here and across here, we'd actually need to add in another value to graph. So this is good for comparing across values. So if we wanted to add in another of change value, we go back into the chart expert. 
into the data and let's add into the on change the country. So we'll take the country, add that across, and then OK. And you now see that we've got split here. The, the traditional x axis is our years, and now our z axis is actually different countries. So our bars represent the sales for different years for different countries. So you can come across to that little yellow blob there, and that's 2010 England. That little green one there is got to sort of hover in the right place to read the value 2011 France. So all the green ones are 2011, all the orange ones are 2010, and all the blue ones are 2009. Let's hover over the biggest 2010 then, and that's United Kingdom. So we can see we've added in an extra axis here by using the 3D riser type. So if we go back into the chart expert, all the types are in here. Effectively, they are categorized by their types. So we've got a bar type and then subtypes, a line type and then subtypes, an area type and then subtypes, pie, donut, 3D riser, etc. Sometimes it's worth experimenting to see which chart type looks the best for you. Sometimes you instinctively know which chart type is the right for your data. Now, one little thing extra just to have a look at, if we undo. When you've got a 3D chart, if you go to right click, 3D viewing angle, you'll see you can change the angle that you're actually looking at the graph from. I'm looking at it from this top angle here. I might wish to look from that side there. OK. And see that the angle of the graph turns round. So let's right click, 3D viewing angle. You could even go advanced options where you can rotate things yourself. And you can see in the preview what it's going to look like. So I can move around and look a little bit from underneath if I want. Oh, move that that way, move the X around a little bit that way. And the Z's our sort of tilt angle, let's tilt it there. And OK. If we want to retain this view, we can save it. And let's save this as a guy one. OK. And then we have some crazy viewing angle that is retained for future use. So you want to use the same 3D viewing angle again. So that's chart type. Insert your chart, select the data, get the chart where you would like it and then revisit the chart expert to change the chart type to one that you prefer, or one that's more suitable for your data that you're trying to map.